Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this second tutorial, we are going to work on the player movement. So in my old playlist about making an endless runner, we have created this C-sharp script that moves this capsule forward by changing its Z position. Then we have added the animation on top of it. But in this new series, we are going to use a different method, which is called root motion. We can select a running animation and the player will start moving forward without writing any line of code. So that's going to make it easier for us. You could go to this website that is called mixamo.com. Then you can select a character from this character section. In my case, I have selected this one, which is called tie. You can use this character. Next, we can select an animation from the animations tab. You could search for it, like running. Then you can pick up any of these animations, like this one. As you can see, the character is moving forward without writing any line of code. When we have used the old method, we have checked this option in place because we are moving the capsule instead. In this series, I'm going to uncheck this option so that we can use this feature. After that, we can download it using the download button. Then you will see a few options to modify the download. Make sure to change this option to FBX for Unity so that we can use it in our game. Then we can import this file by dragging it under the assets. First of all, I want to create a plane as our ground. Under the hierarchy, we can right click, 3D object, and here you have few options like plane. I'm gonna call it a ground. Then we can reset its transform to put it in the middle by selecting reset from these dots. And let's scale it a bit along the Z axis. Then we can drag our 3D character under the hierarchy. When you import 3D characters from mixamo.com, the material is gonna be white. To fix it, you have to select the 3D character and under materials, select the option extract textures so that we can get the right materials of our 3D character and hit select folder. And there you go, we have these images that are generated. I highly recommend you to organize these files by creating a specific folder for that using right click, create, folder, and let's call it player. Then we can select these images using shift and the character as well by hitting control and drag all of them under the folder. Now let's give it a try and check if our player is moving forward or not by hitting the play button. Nothing happens, the character is in the same position because we need to tell Unity that we are using root motion. To do that, we can select our character. The only component that it has is the transform component. In Unity, the component that is responsible for animation is called animator. We can select it add component and search for animator. As you can see, we have few options like the controller that controls the animation. Also, we have this parameter apply root motion. Make sure to check that. That's the method that we're going to use. Last but not least, to apply the running animation, we have to select our character. And from the inspector, you have to go to rig. You will need to change the animation type from generic to humanoid which maps our character bones to Unity's animation system so that it can know how to move the player using root motion. Of course, you have to apply these changes using apply. By the way, you can change some parameters of the running animation under the animation tab. For example, we can set it to loop time, which will move our player forward continuously. And that's what we want. Make sure to apply that using this button. Now, if you select this arrow, you will see that we have running animation. If you drag it to the character under the hierarchy, Unity creates this animator controller that controls the animations. I want to rename it using right click rename, like animator. The last thing that you have to set before testing this game is called avatar. And it is this object. We can drag it like this. And let's hit the play again. And there you go. We have implemented this character movement without writing any line of code. You will notice one issue. Our character is slightly moving to the right side when he's moving forward. And that's because we are applying root motion. Luckily, Unity allows you to fix that by selecting the character again. And under animation, we have something called bake into pose. For example, if the character is moving a little bit to the top, you can check this option under root transform position Y. But in our case, we have to fix the orientation or the rotation of the player when he's moving forward. And you're going to need to change this option to original. 
and let's apply it to the animation by hitting this button. At this point, the player is a little bit far from the main camera. We can change its position and rotation by adjusting the transform component. I want to move it a little bit to the top and make it a little bit close to the character by adjusting the Z value. You could also set it to a specific number like minus seven and I want to rotate it a bit around the X axis. I think that's pretty much it guys for this video. If you have any question or comment, make sure to write it under the comment section down below. In our next video, we're gonna work on the camera movement so that we can follow our player. That's why don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so that you don't miss any of my next videos and they will see you in the next one.